Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is another little video talking about the task manager and uh, we are in the details tab of the task manager uh, this one's a little hard to um, to understand for newbies um, it's something that more people you know experts will understand uh, clearly uh, what this um, program does actually is um, going to be viewed here a little bit. First of all, you don't know how to start, to start the task manager. Several ways. Bottom left corner, right click, go on task manager, or you can go into the um, desktop app right click at the bottom of the desktop app on the taskbar and you'll have task manager available or you can go into the charms bar on the right side of your screen by either swiping from right to left you have a touch screen going to the corners with your mouse if you don't and go into the search just start typing task And so we will go into the details tab. We've reviewed processes, performance, app history, startup, and users. So if you don't know, check for those videos. And um, you can tap um, in the little search box in YouTube, um, Task Manager. It will bring up all the videos we did on the Task Manager. The details tab. Um, it's kind of a mishmash of a lot of stuff that's actually... Um, installed and running on your computer or not and um, it's basically um, an evolution of the old processes tab that was available on the older computer so um, we've seen processes here at the beginning but this one is more like the real processes that was used in Windows 7, Vista or XP and where you see every process of the computer, if it's running, if it's not running, and um, information like its uh, priority or affinity. So um, what this one brings is that everything that was not in processes is actually in details. And so you can check here for running tasks, their CPU information. Um, what's not interesting about this list is compared to the other lists where you have that nice interface, for example the processes with a nice clean interface, the details is kind of just a list and you've got that CPU in the middle, that, that little column. Um, it's not a pretty interface but it does give you the information needed. And um, like the Processes tab, if you click on a task, you can right-click and select the End Task. You can also, if you click it, go on the bottom right. There's a little End Task right here on the bottom right. So, uh, you know, everything's there to stop or start a service. Um, all services that are not running, so for like this one here, is suspended, you can right-click and um, you can actually uh, take this program and um, choose its different properties and start up the uh, service if you want and um, you've got something also called set priority priority means the importance of this application running into Windows the higher the priority the more CPU time it's going to be given um, so on some really um, process or programs that really need a lot of uh, power sometimes that can be helpful and you can set the affinity what's the affinity? the affinity is when your computer has multi-cores like this computer as you can see here it has four different cores 0, 1, 2 and 3 um, some apps use only one core and you can choose which one you want to use one when it's working for example so this is really expert stuff but knowing it exists and it's there is useful because 
maybe one day you'll have a problem with a computer or you'll have a little glitch and while searching through Google for help you'll find that oh well you gotta change the affinity of this um, program for it to work well and um, it happened to me a long time ago it's very very um, exceptional that you'll be using this but it, um, in a tech, I'm a tech guy and all I can say is that in my 14 years of tech, um, of going through clients and helping them, um, I've had a few times to go into the Affinity um, to actually click on a CPU for um, a program that would crash. Um, and that, especially since the... Um, uh, the advent of the uh, hyper threading mode in Pentium 4s and with the multi core programs. Um, it's, it rarely happens, but it, I've seen cases where programs just didn't run right if they weren't on the good CPU. And um, one thing also about this is that all these four CPUs, I've got a two core processor, the two other cores are virtual cores. Some programs want to run on the real thing. They don't want to run on virtual machines or virtual cores. So, uh, you know, it's all, it's all the little stuff that you can see. And of course, the main reason you might want to go into details is once again to check for a um, process that might be uh, going wild and taking too much CPU time. Um, just go through the list don't disable stuff that you just don't know what they are because you can really do a lot of damage here if you stop a main process or prevent one of the main process of the computer from starting up you can end up with a computer that just doesn't start at all so be really careful about what you do here and if you're not sure what you're doing just don't do it that's really the I would say the, the best way to uh, deal with a computer. And uh, like everyone, yeah, you can, you know, do an error someday and try something. And well, you'll always have the possibility to uh, reinstall com the, the, the Windows uh, on your computer if it ever uh, goes bad. So, this was the uh, quick information on the details section of the task manager. Um, if you enjoy these videos, you enjoy learning more about the computer, thanks, um, thanks for watching, first of all, and uh, click the subscribe button on our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you got that new Windows 8 machine, it's a great channel to learn more on how to use it. Lots of people are lost in Windows 8 and it's normal because it's such a different operating system. And um, maybe you have a comments, questions, or you want to um, ask for a feature to be uh, explained on one of our videos, let us know. Um, and it's going to be a pleasure to do a video for you. So thanks for watching. Take a look at the other videos we have. Lots of videos on Windows and lots more coming up on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.